A common complaint that I have with ChatGPT that I know others have too is the length of its replies. They're either way too long or way too short, rarely landing in the right place first time. That's why in this video I'll show you a bunch of ways to use simply worded modifiers to control the size of these responses, demonstrating the resulting content length with and without. This video is part of a whole series focused on prompt engineering, so be sure to check out the rest. As we'll see, modifiers are good at getting the AI to reply how we want, but so is knowing exactly how LLMs work and why the way we ask questions is so important. And for that, I recommend Brilliant.org, today's video sponsor. Brilliant is an online learning platform with literally thousands of fully interactive lessons in programming, maths, data analysis, and AI. Whether you're just getting started in coding or you want to test your existing maths knowledge, Brilliant's bite-sized lessons make it easy for you to get started from whatever level you're already at. Each lesson contains hands-on problems that you need to get stuck in and solve yourself. It's not just trying to memorize, it's actually applying what you're learning as you progress and in a fun way. Even if you only have a few minutes to spare each day, Brilliant's tailored approach makes it easy to fit learning around your own personal and professional goals. I enjoy keeping up to date with the latest AI lessons in the course How LLMs Work and I know that any of you enjoying learning about prompt engineering will find it beneficial too. Explore with interactive lessons how actual language models construct their messages word by word, and learn how their extensive training makes them seem so human. With new lessons being added constantly, and with AI being at such an exciting stage, there's been no better time to sign up. To try what Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash AI chat, or click on the link down below. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So how can we control the AI's word count? There's the obvious ways like telling the AI to write a short paragraph or write a long essay, but what can we do for more control? Well, one option is to use a percentage. For me, it feels like it gives the user the most manual control at the moment. We can place a request for the AI to use 50% words and it will look to do so, shortening its sentences and removing any repetition. If you want a lot less, use 25%, or for just a little less, use 75%. Don't think of it as a perfect science or a bang on word count. It's more a basic estimate of what you're after that the AI will use as a guide. A better way to imagine it is it's more a case of putting the AI onto a word count scale. The AI is still gonna write what it's gonna write, but we can adjust whereabouts on this word count scale the content's gonna sit. Ultimately, if you tend to have a basic idea of how much you want the AI to write, then simply adding a couple of words to your engineered prompt can often get you a perfect output first time without needing to adapt the length after. If you do end up with a piece of work that you're not happy with, maybe it's too long. I found the wording, use 50% less words, is a good reply if you want to get it redone. Let's look at some examples and their word counts with and without the modifier to see what's going on. Given the same essay to write about each time, we start without any modifiers and we get a 500 word essay back. But with the modifiers, we can see that when we ask for 50% wording, we do in fact get less words. Just over 300, so it's actually more around 60%. If we want the AI to give us a reply similar to standard, but just a little less wordy, we can ask it to respond using 10% less words. Or if we want it to use more words, we can ask the AI to use a 200% word count, and it will attempt to give us as many words as possible, although rarely will it create an exact double word count. As mentioned, it's definitely a case of using somewhat casual values. It's more to define where on the word count scale you want the content to be. Do you want the AI to write more or less than it normally would, and how extreme do you want this to be? Also, you may have noticed that I like to place it at the very end of my message, sometimes even in brackets. I definitely tend to think of it less as part of the main prompt and more just a modifier added at the end. The good thing about getting yourself used to using a word count modifier like this is that it can be used for anything. Paragraphs, sentences, lists, and whole pieces of work. And you aren't just limited to giving it as a percentage either. If you're not too strict about the length, then you can be flexible with the language you use, but I do find certain words yield better results. Like asking the AI to give concise replies. In return, you'll get a short, snappy, and to-the-point response. You can ask for a compact list and you'll end up with an easy-to-skim summary. Or if you want the AI to be more chatty, you can ask the AI to give extremely descriptive and wordy replies and it will do exactly that. The ultimate takeaway from this video should be that you don't need to be frustrated by the length of an AI's replies. You just need to be consistently adding a small amount of wording to modify it during the opening prompt you write. It's another way to have control over the AI and that's always a good thing. 
As mentioned earlier, I recommend checking out my prompt engineering playlist if you're keen to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.